Hi, I'm Ash and welcome to CMAX Connect. In this video, we're going to go through the clinic admin dashboard in detail. Let's start with the login screen. Aside from entering your login details, you also have a forgot password link at the bottom. This will reset your password and send you an email to log in and update your password again. So let's log in. Once you've logged in, you'll see the main menu on the left hand side of the screen. Let's go through a high level description of each section before we do a deep dive. First of all, the banner at the top shows you which clinic you're logged into and what kind of user account you have. Moving down to the dashboard here, this is the page you'll spend most of your time on and includes an overview of the day's telehealth appointments and the telehealth roster for your clinic. In the clinic menu, you can enter the public details for the clinic that will show up in the mobile app for patients to see. The next section is doctors. Here you can review or add doctors that are currently offering telehealth through CMX Connect at your clinic. In the patients menu, you'll find patients that are currently using telehealth through Connect. Admin staff. This is a list of clinic staff who have access to CMX Connect. Finally, the profile menu. This is the profile of the admin account that is currently logged in. So this is your profile. Let's take a closer look at the dashboard. The first thing that you will see is today's clinic telehealth schedule. Here you can hover over appointments for detail. All appointment data is pulled directly from best practice every 10 minutes. The hours here are the opening hours of the clinic. So you can see that the clinic is open from 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. in this case. If we scroll down, you'll see the after hours roster. You can see on the left hand side that we've got a list of doctors and the roster itself shows 24 hours of the day. Some days you'll find that there needs to be a roster for the full 24 hours, such as when the clinic is closed for the day on occasion. Also, we're looking at a month of rosters here. In this case, it shows from the 16th of the 10th to four weeks forward from that. Here we can switch to the next week, the next week, or the previous week, the previous week, um, through the next and previous buttons. The current day is highlighted in blue. You can see that I'm doing this recording on the 20th of October, and the clinic open hours for the week are greyed out. They're of course greyed out because these are clinic open hours where there will be telehealth appointments that are made in the system as opposed to telehealth call requests for on-call telehealth after hours. To set the roster, just click on any doctor, then click on the start time and date that you want that doctor to start. Let's say we want this doctor to start at midnight on Wednesday the 19th. Click on the start time, and then we can just scroll down and click again on the stop time. It's as simple as that. Let's fill the roster by clicking on some different doctors here. And once we're done, Remember to save the changes and ultimately that will update the roster. If you need to delete any individual roster slots, simply hover over the slot in question, then right click and confirm your choice by clicking on the red cross. Again, ensure that you save changes if you do this. And one interesting thing is that we quite often will find that the roster for one week may look very similar to the roster for the following week. So instead of having to manually do that, we can just copy the schedule to the next week. So right now, if we click forward, we obviously see that we don't have a roster for that next week. Let's go ahead and copy our current schedule to next week by pressing on that button. And now if we go to the next week, 
we'll see that we've got the roster that's been basically updated there. Again, as always, after you've made any changes to the roster, you've got to make sure that you hit Save Changes. Otherwise, your changes will be lost. If you just made one or two changes that you want to cancel, then you can click on Cancel Changes. The other feature you've got here is Clear Table. That clears the current week's roster entirely. If we clear that and then click Save Changes, that means you've got a clear roster for the week and you can then start again. So that's the dashboard menu. Let's go ahead and click on Clinic. From here, we'll start at the top. This title shows the clinic that we're logged in as, Castle Hill Medical Center, the mall. We've got triage questions. So here we create a series of questions for patients that request an after hours telehealth call. If patients answer yes to any of them, they will be instructed to either visit a hospital or dial 000 for emergency. If you want to add some questions, you can click on the Add a Question button and you can see additional questions appear at the bottom. If you want to remove questions, just click on the Remove button here. When you're done, just click on Save Changes. Let's look at affiliated clinics. This shows the clinics that will accept telehealth calls when your clinic doesn't have any GPs rostered on after hours. Don't touch this currently. At the moment, all three of the main clinics, the Mall, Barwell and Marsden Park, are all affiliated clinics. So that will currently work just fine. Click back to see the clinic details page. These details show in the mobile app to the patients. When patients click on the clinic, they can see all these details, the phone number and address, the bio. Here we can also update the profile image for the clinic that the patients will see. We've put in a logo file, but that could easily be a key image inside the reception of the clinic or anything else. One thing to note, these are set up for square image files. So if you update this image, make sure it's a square aspect ratio image file. As before, make sure you hit submit, otherwise your changes won't be saved. We'll now scroll down a little bit to operating hours. Here we can select which days the clinic is open or closed. As you can see, the clinic is open seven days a week in this case. You can also set up the start time and end time for each day individually. And when you're done, click on Save Hours. Closure Days. These are any particular days of the year that the clinic is closed. Days like Christmas Day, Boxing Day, days like that. You just click on the calendar, select the day and add it in that way. Again, make sure you click on Save Closure Days after you've done this. If you've made a mistake, you can delete days by clicking on the Remove button. The Permissions section here. This gives the CMX Connect System Admin access to your clinic account to assist in initial setup. It enables access to the clinic profile details, the triage questions, the list of doctors and the clinic admins. So we'll now go through the Doctors section. This shows a list of your clinic's doctors that currently have accounts in CMX Connect. These are the doctors that are going to be providing telehealth for your clinic. From this screen, we can add doctors. Either we can bulk upload via a templated CSV file, or we can add a doctor manually. Doctors can be searched by their last name. All you need to do is start typing in the search box and you'll find the doctor you're looking for very, very quickly. You can assist doctors in setting up their profile. To do this, click on Modify. Here you can help to edit their bio and qualifications 
And it's always nice to have a profile picture of the doctor as well. Finally, if a doctor has subsequently lost their password, you can assist by pressing Reset Password. This will send them a password reset link via email. Doctors can be obviously added individually, but they can be deleted individually here as well. Next is Patients. This shows a list of patients who have an account in CMX Connect either because they have used or are scheduled to have a telehealth call. So as with doctors, patients can be added manually or via a CSV file. They can be searched and sorted. Again, if we want to search for one patient in particular, we can easily do that. We can modify a patient account, assisting the patient in setting up their CMX account. And we can also view any telehealth appointments that are in the system. As with doctors, we can assist patients with resetting a password. This sends them a reset password link via email. We'll go down to admin staff. This shows a list of admin staff for your clinic. As before, we can search by last name, if there is a big list or if you're looking for someone in particular. Here we can add admins manually, modify an existing admin account or reset their password. If we create a clinic admin, it'll send an automatically generated email to them to be able to log back in and change their password. One thing to note here is the two different permission tiers of admin. The only difference being that master admins can add or delete other admins. Standard admins cannot. The profile section links to the profile of the person who's currently logged in. So here you can edit your own account details. There are some additional menu options. One is Report Issue. As CMX Connect is a new platform, we'd like to know whether you experience any technical issues. Feedback will be sent straight through to the developers. Finally, the Help section. Here you'll find a quick reference guide covering everything that you've seen in this video here today. So, if you want to know anything in particular, it's all sorted by section. I hope you've learnt what you've needed. Thanks for watching.